everybody. This is the devotional for today, and we're going to read from Deuteronomy, something we don't read from very often. Uh, and this is the, the final chapter. It's the way the final chapter begins, and it tells about the death of Moses. So this is Deuteronomy 34, 1 through 8. And so let's listen. Then Moses went up from the plains of Moab to Mount Nebo, to the top of Pisgah, which is opposite Jericho, and the Lord showed him the whole land, Gilead as far as Dan and all of Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah as far as, west, as the western sea, the Negev and the plain that is the valley of Jericho, the city of palm trees as far as Zoar. And the Lord said to him, This is the land of which I swore to Abraham and to Isaac and to Jacob, saying, I will give it to your descendants. I have let you see it with your eyes, but you shall not cross over there. And Moses, the servant of the Lord, died there in the land of Moab at the Lord's command. He was buried in the valley in the land of Moab opposite Beth Peor, and no one knows where his burial place is today. Moses was one of 120 years old, was 120 years old when he died. His sight was unimpaired, and his vigor had not abated. The Israelites wept for Moses in the plains of Moab for 30 days, and then the period of mourning for Moses was ended. So I always used to think of these verses as, as bothersome. Um, so sort of this idea that like, you know, Moses works so much of his life um, to bring the Israelites out of Egypt and into the promised land. And he gets there and God even shows that, hey, that's, that's it right over there. And you're not going to get there. But I think now the, the way I read that is, is to say, hey, listen, um, you've been trying to get your people to the land that I promised, and you're not going to get there, but I want you to see that it's right there and your people will get there. That all of your work, that all of your, your hopes, all of um, the triumphs and the failures that it has, has not been for naught, that, that your people will find the place that you have been leading them to. And, and in that, I, I think for us to remember, to remember that our work is not in vain, that God does not uh, turn a blind eye to our hopes, doesn't turn a blind eye to the work that we do for God and in partnership with the Spirit. And so in these days, uh, in this week or this day, in this moment, I hope that you take some comfort in knowing that your work is not in vain, that work is not in vain whenever God has a hand in it. And so with that, go this week and work and be it not in vain. Amen. Mm -hmm.